Okay, so... Where were these episodes before? I was so waiting for these episodes. Noah but, talk. No, you, you know what, though? Um, it, here's what I realized. Well, for, skeletons in the closet, that, that's this episode. Uh, I now see what they were sort of trying to do with this. It's sort of similar to Avatar. They were trying to sort of create... Uh, sort of the innocent, fun side of the character, so that when they're thrown into the real shit, uh, you can just focus totally on the real shit going on. Like, the real, the big action, the big climax, and all that stuff. Uh, sort of working a little bit more like a, one big movie. Um, and, you know, for me, it was just like, I didn't think they did that too great, but or, or not as good as, a, as Avatar, at least. Uh, but, yeah, now that we're getting into all this stuff, I mean, it's like half of this story is just the backstory uh, of these two characters and these two brothers. And uh, it's such a good backstory. I mean, it's like, wow, is this good. Now blood bend your brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I know, That's and the moment where I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, no, and, and, and a lot wrong of, with you? You know, when, that, uh, when the Puppet Master episode uh, aired and everyone was talking about, yeah, wasn't it creepy? I was like... I get the idea is more creepy, but I was saying, I get it, it's still family shows, so you sort of have to keep restraint. Here, they threw in the element of the family in there, too, and Bloodbane, the family, and the control of the father, and that's just an extra level to add what to a, that uncomfortableness. What a douchebag. Yeah, I and, just... No, I mean... No, it, that, whole, that whole backstory gets me, every time I watch it, that's the one moment where I'm just like... Jesus Christ! What are you? <laughs> no, and the you know, and the animation too. Him, when, do it! When, do it now! When the brother is bending the wolves, I mean, God, the animation on this whole flashback is unbelievable. Just the look on his face is so intense, and the way they draw these animals, I mean, being so helplessly. Oh, I believe it's moved. a mom. Like I'm like, you've never seen a mom's face yet, and I'm like, but that's you, him. Yeah, you totally that's, get it. You totally um, feel it's real. The the reveal that Amon and uh, Tarlock are brothers did. Did not shock me because at first I thought maybe Tarlock was a mon, but then it just started getting more and more. It's like, it. you know, well, because they sound very similar. Then when not, I, and then you know that one can blood bend, one can yeah. take away bending. They have to be connected. I didn't think it was just because I thought that was too obvious. I'm like, they would have kept this a better secret, and it looks like it's pointing towards that really mm. easily. So Well, I, and, but particularly when they meet up and he takes the bending away, there's this, okay, so if they're not working for each other, they have to be somehow these two had to be connected, that both can do something that nobody else can do, and, and they've learned how to do it. You know, it, it, that's quite a coincidence. So, you know, having it be siblings uh, was a good idea. Um, I just love stories about, I don't know what it is, about best friends or siblings or, you know, these relationships where they just, they start off so close, but then they go awry. And I will this, blood bend you. I, I, we'll have our competition later. And, um, yeah, I, I just love those kind of stories. And I think this one is just, like, one of the best. I mean, because you have the connection with the father, too, and they gave the father's backstory so well, and that was, they dedicated another episode to well, that. Well, it, it, it tied it all together. It did. Like, it, like, because I was... The whole issue with Tarlock, I, I remember watching it the first time, and I'm like... Well, that was a fun detour, but what the hell? And then when we got to this episode, I was like, oh, you actually tied all of this together. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. I Obviously, it was one of those that was just like Avatar, you know, well, maybe it'll come back later. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, know? that. like I said, that's always the stuff I learned. It's like, okay, let's. I'll have my opinion now, but it's like I just keep in mind, just wait, wait, let's see, let's see. And uh, maybe the fart bending will be phenomenal. <laughs> maybe they'll find a way to tie it in. It'll be like, wow, that was the secret to everything. Fart bending. What a twist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who knows? But. Um, no. Oh, well. Spoiler. spoiler. God, no. Thanks for ruining that, Rob. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the, only, the other thing that's kind of interesting. Well, first of all, I. They're more and more utilizing... I forget the real guy's name, I just always call him Ford, because obviously it's supposed to be, um, uh, you know, is sort of like Henry Ford uh, with the way he makes everything. Um, and, and what, Sato? Is that is Sato? Oh, okay. The, the, the Sato mobile. Yeah, Sato. Uh, Sato coming out with the planes. I love that they have that guy, because then you can introduce new mechanics. I'm sorry, I know some fans. Sato. Yeah, there you go. Sado, Sado. Actually, Sado. Sado, I like that. Oh, that that really fits him up. That's a soft tease. Yeah, okay. So, um, Sado, when he has these, uh, planes come out, 
And they're just like, you know, what, what, what is that? What is that sound? You know what that sound is, but at the same time, you're like, oh shit, they're in trouble. And it's just a great anticipation having no other tanks or I love anything that. I love there. it. See, well, it's when that fleet just sails in and there's nothing there. Yeah, that's like Iroh's the scariest moment. Like, What's going on here? Like, in that Dante Bosco way. That only he can do, like, you're just like, I don't get it. Just something doesn't feel right. And you just feel that sense of dread of just... Seriously, no, what is going on here? It's a trap. Yeah. Um, and then the whir of the airplanes, and that was a great shot, too. Yeah, it is. Right. It, the usually, coming in. Yeah, usually we're not a fan of sort of that shaky cam, close, you know, uh, zoom in sort of thing, but that was really effective. Bolin's line of, where is he finding all this time to make more evil machines? <laughs> um, so, you know, the one thing you brought up, and we should probably talk about, uh, which is interesting, is the design of uh, Iro. Uh, you know, I wrote okay, the now, second okay, or third me, or whatever. I gotta be very careful here. Because I do not want this... Okay, let me start off by saying... I know what you're gonna say, yeah. but I'm gonna keep going. I think Dante Bosco is a fantastic voice actor, one of the best out there. And this is not on him. So I want this out there, like, just... This has nothing to do with him not turning in a great performance. This is a great performance, and we were watching this and applauding, like, yeah. fuck yeah! Um, the issue is the character design on the actual character, the art design, looks to me like if you crossed Gaston with Prince Charming with every, like, Disney, Disney prince, prince and then yeah. put him in a uniform. And they which, all sound like this. Yeah, know, and, this is, and, the, yeah and this is the problem is that sort of character design... Whenever you see that, generally your thought is you're going to get the Gaston deep booming, you know, why, hello, Belle, like, and when Dante Bosco's voice comes out of it, I have a hard time, like, like viewing those two things together, like, hearing that voice come out of that character design. I just, well, I don't and know here's how to the thing. It. Well, no, here's the thing, is that <laughs> Dante Bosco has this very unique voice who he completely owns. I yeah. mean, this is a guy who has, I mean, he just completely owned this voice yeah, and I made it... I can't get enough of it. I yeah, think and made it voice. so powerful. I, even in this, it's like, oh my god, you are a completely new character. You've been in here one episode. You are fucking awesome. I mean, you are unbelievable. I just love this character already. I, I'm sad there's only one more episode with him. I'm like, no, I want more. Um, <laughs> Where but, were you earlier? Yeah, but... You have this, um, but here's the thing, when it comes out of, if you see what Dante Bosco looks like, you, you know he's Rufio, you see pictures of him uh, nowadays, and he he looks pretty much the same, I mean, you know, he, he's a bit older, but he looks about the same, you can still see that voice coming out of him, and it, it fits, so even if this is an older person, Dante Bosco's, well, I guess, 30s or something like that, I mean, I so, so. Uh, Hook yeah. was 93, and he was... Yeah, I mean, so, uh, obviously, you know, yeah. people that age can have that voice, and he plays a lot of kid characters, but he's older, he can have that voice, uh, and it's totally possible to have people that look older or tough or whatever have sort of higher voices, like Mike Tyson was an example you brought up. Yeah, somebody brought up on my Facebook when I mentioned it, it was like, well... Look at Mike Tyson, you know, he, he had a, a really sort of lighter voice for somebody who was a huge boxer, and I, you know, but I mean, the one thing is, generally society kind of made fun of Mike Tyson, so maybe it's distracting if... Not you know, to his face, though, obviously. Yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> well, well, no, but... No, here, I'm not saying society's right, but it, there is this thing where I don't think they had to make Iroh a kid, but I think they made him look like he's... To me, he looks like he's 40. Yeah, th there's like, a, there's a I more fitting like design. I feel like the design they should have gone with would have been closer to something like Mako, early 20s, or even if they're just like, he's a general, so you don't want to go that long, like maybe 30 or something. But And some of it is, I think the lines on the jaw, it's a very chiseled jaw. They yeah. gave, they gave it, him extra lines like they do Tenzin, older, av or, and uh, it, yeah, older so Aang. We're so. not saying that people can't who look like that can't sound like that. I mean, here's the thing. We see, like, we see men that sound like women. We see women that sound like men. Yes, that's going to happen. But at the same time, you have to acknowledge that it's a little distracting when you say that, too. Phone is ringing. Go shut off that phone. I will finish the thought. Uh, so, bottom line, what we're saying is that voice is still unbelievable. The design, I, we don't feel quite matches the voice like, uh like other versions that they've done, or as much as it could have. I think you can totally do an adult voice, or a, an adult um, an adult design, and still have that voice come out, because it is an adult voice, but it's still, 
like when I heard Dante yeah. Bosco, I'm like, great, but I was like, whoa, didn't didn't expect that. So <laughs> speaking of voices, I'm actually losing mine. Um, I think the issue is it just ends up being distracting in an unnecessary way. And none of that is on Dante Bosco. It To me, it's just... He still owns it. He's still unbelievable. Whoever ever came up with the character design... Now, maybe it was a last-minute switch. Maybe they were going to go with some other voice actor, and they're like, dude, why don't we just get Dante Bosco? And they were like, all right, well, we've already got this character design. Like, I have no idea what went down. It, it just... It just doesn't quite sync up as well as it should. I think it should have been maybe more of a Mako character design. Um, you know, it didn't have to be a carbon copy of Zuko, but it, it, yeah, there's just something about it that it just doesn't click with me, you know, and... I, I, I know what you're talking about. I mean, there's yeah. one or two angles, like when he has head down and he looked a little younger, it's sort of like, oh, no, there is a kind okay, of Okay, there's working, a couple but, of great examples yeah. where he looks up or something... And they removed the extra lines that gave him sort of the more sunken jaw. The ones that look more like Dante yeah. Bosco. <laughs> when, they did, when they did that, when they smoothed out the face and did it from a distance, I'm like, okay, go with that character design. I can see that. Mm. Like, similar looking face, not too different, but it, they just, it took about ten years off, and I'm like, I feel like I could see this working now. I yeah. just... So, yeah, yeah I mean, they, they, you know what we're talking about there. So, um... Yeah, you know, got uh, still a great episode, mostly the backstory, which is very ballsy to do the second to last episode, have it be mostly a backstory. I, I thought that was plot dump. I, I thought that was very <laughs> clever. Because uh, when it ended, I'm like, whoa, like that, that's the ending of it. I'm like, I, I have been watching that for a long time, haven't I, the backstory. So um, I I don't exactly know where it's going. My, the, the two things I can guess it, where I would like it to go. Again, doesn't mean it'd be best, but where I would like it to go. One is that I like Amon to not... I think they're hinting at this, that he doesn't... He's not scarred or anything, because it, it makes it sound like they already sort of made up the backstory, like, you know, Benders didn't kill the mother or whatever he said. Um, and then the other thing I would like to see... We, we saw Lin uh, get the power taken away, the bending taken away, and I like that Amon does not kill them uh, after doing that, because you can... Like Tarlock said, he's... It's a lie, but he also really believes in his cause. So it's like, that's all he's looking to do. So I like that he takes away the bending, and you're, you're one of us now, and hey, I like that he really stands by the cause. What I would like to honestly see, with this argument going on, with all the ethical stuff, I would like to see this actually end with Korra getting the bending taken away. And I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't know if they're going to do that and, like, she'll have it be taken away, but then it's given back. Or something, kind of like what they did with... Uh, Avatar, with, with Aang dying and then coming back or whatever, but w with this argument going on between the two and trying to say, no, no side is right, no side is wrong, I would like to see I would like to see them really go to the next step with that. I mean, you see all these when, lose it, when Lin loses her bending, it's like holy shit, like, you know, that's really sad, but let's see them move beyond that, and, and let's see what happens after that, and I think with the Avatar doing that, showing it's more beyond the bending, that would be really fascinating, and I don't know if they're gonna go that route but that would be really, really cool. Um, yeah. That would be. I <laughs> so, won't say a thing. I, I'm not telling you what's happening. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, bottom line, it, it, these Avatar ended on an incredible note, and it looks like this is building up to an incredible note. Um, I, I'm just curious what they're going to do now. You know, sir, went to, come on, let's get the story going, eh? To just like, I, holy shit, what's okay. gonna happen next? It's I like that feeling is though. back. Ah, I was like, now my phone's going, god damn it. <laughs> Shut that off. Sorry. You know, you, you've mentioned this a couple times now in this review. I think you're forgetting how the first season of Avatar actually kind of got a little meandering and oh no like... no no i well I, I talked about this before though it can it can meander it's okay if you're using that time to create these characters that much, that... i don't see this as that much worse like no I don't no no okay okay an issue with the story here no I no it, the it's the fact that i don't i didn't feel the characters in Korra's world again uh 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 tension's world fine perfect the characters in Korra's world i don't think were strong enough to keep your interest in their like avatar did. And that's what I'm realizing with this now is that that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to have the sort of nice, playful stuff, and then we get to the serious stuff. It's just all serious stuff, which is fine because it builds up to it. But I didn't feel it was strong enough to keep the attention like how Avatar did. Um, so that was sort of my issue and why I was like, get the story going, when actually I realized it wasn't I had to keep it. It works for me, but then again, I actually watch sports. <laughs>
and enjoy. <laughs> hey, it, it, if pro bending was a real thing, then maybe I would watch it. But even then, I'd probably start to get a little bored. Hey, we'll watch it here! <laughs> what do you mean? I was just happy that Amon came in and busted up the I am! <laughs> I was! Yeah. Oh, but if pro bending was a real sport, I'd watch it. Okay, if someone's like, you want to see Lord of the Rings or basketball, it's like, you go see Lord of the Rings. Well, okay, here's some basketball. It's going to take up, like, two hours of it. But I came to see Lord of the Rings. Actually, if they had basketball in Lord of the Rings, that'd be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> they just take Frodo, scrunch him yeah. up, and bounce <laughs> it. <laughs> Nobody bounces a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> See? You'd yeah. watch that. <laughs> but they complain different. about it. Yeah. No, no, no. It, 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 once they do that to maybe the little fire ferret, I, if they I start don't... throwing the fire ferret around like I one know. of those earth why, discs, why, then, why, then I'd be okay. Why do you gotta be like that, Lou? Why do you gotta hate? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, one episode left, man. Uh, it, 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 I'm, I'm excited now. I'm, I'm curious to see where this is all gonna go. And uh, I, I like that it's, it's really come... It's come around now, and I'm, I'm excited again. I'm just as excited as I was with Avatar. So, um... um I'll, I'll give it away. The trees are behind it. Damn it! That's what was making Mark Wahlberg act so bad. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what a twist! <laughs>